Hello and welcome back to the Football Terrace. We're here to talk Liverpool. We're here to talk about the pending £50 million move of Jean Matip from Anfield, potentially to Paris Saint-Germain. We've got a very special guest on here to talk about this deal, to talk about the possibilities of it. What we want you to do first of all is hit the like button for us, the share button, the retweet button. Really important to this platform that you get this done. Uh, we're speaking via WhatsApp this evening. We have got from kick442.com um, Cameroon. We have um, Angu Leslie on the line who broke the news across social media just yesterday uh, that this deal of Matip to Paris Saint-Germain could happen. Uh, Mr. Leslie, uh, I hope you're well. How are you? I'm fine. It's obviously my pleasure being on your platform. Uh, no, absolutely. The pleasure is all ours to to, to have you. We're really, really excited to hear about this this news about, of course, um, a, a massive player in Cameroon, uh, one of the stars of this Liverpool team for the past three to four years. Um, and maybe just maybe he's on his way um, to Paris Saint-Germain. I would love to hear a bit of backstory ab about this potential move uh, and for you to give us uh, the, sort of the inside information and your opinions on this potential transfer. Well, uh, I, I, I qualify as well as uh, a great servant of, of the club since arriving in 2016 from Shark. He's given his all. Uh, he's always been very, very committed uh, with duties at Liverpool. Uh, he's been able uh, to, to build a reputation as one of the darlings of the, of, of the people of Anfield. Uh, he's very much loved by the people and fans going by uh, the people and the, the club going by uh, what we read about him going by the reactions sometimes when he, he broke down because of an injury. I think uh, Joel uh, is the kind of uh, defender that I mean every ambitious club want to have on their books, and uh, it's no secret uh, that Paris Saint Germain. Uh, in the market for another defender in place of the uh, legend uh, Thiago Silva, who is set to uh, leave at the end of the season. Uh, we initially got hints of that uh, from our colleagues of uh, net, and uh, I had a conversation uh, with them, and they, they, they confirmed to me that uh, there, there was some uh, facts in, 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 in the Romans. And uh, we did the story. Uh, I, I, to be candid with you, I, I think that the, the usual injury situation has worsened uh, in his time in Liverpool. Uh, he arrived as, as a boy. Uh, he's grown into a real defender, uh, but he didn't have the kind of injury history he has had at Anfield. Uh, I, I was, I, I've been privileged to talk with, uh, uh, Liverpool born my Liverpool player, Howard Guy today about, about his, his massive time at Anfield. And he also, he also, because I was trying to take an appointment for an interview. Uh, with him on this subject tomorrow. And he also agreed with me that Matip's injury problems have doubled in his time at Anfield. And I was trying to find out what he thinks uh, could be the cause. And he talked about the intensity, the, the game style under Mr. Klopp. Uh, I think it, it, it's been it's it's not been the the, the the most amazing moment in terms of uh, the, the number of uh, times uh, in the treatment a table for for Joel, and I, I think this is the reason. Uh, this is one of the reason. If he has to leave Anfi, if at all he has to leave Anfi, this could be uh, one of the major reasons. Now, reasons why it become it becomes uh, another reason why it becomes possible for him to leave is the fact that his international colleague. Uh, yes, he's not been in the national team since 2014, but his international colleague at least at the 2014 World Cup. Eric Maxim Chupomoting is on the books of Paris Saint Germain. Now, talking Eric Maxim Chupomoting, he may not stay on at Paris Saint Germain, but he's also loved at the club. Uh, his father, Josh, uh, uh, his father, Josh uh, Chupu, is his agent. And uh, today, in in a, in set of more details about this deal, I contacted. Uh, 
to Pomoting's father uh, uh, to find out if actually, because I read from, from other sources that followed up the story uh, that Tupo has been in contact with Joel. So I tried to talk with Tupo's father today uh, to find out uh, whether Tupo uh, has actually talked with Joel and he declined commenting on the issue. Uh, he declined in a strange manner. Uh, so it, 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 it leaves us in, in, in a kind of suspense position. And look at who is, who is in, in charge at, at Paris Saint-Germain is Mr. Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel is the German just like uh, Joel has the German uh, passport, which also works well for him because uh, if he moves to Paris Saint-Germain, it, it, it doesn't disturb the club too much uh, in terms of the financial uh, fair play rule, given that uh, he, he, he holds the, the EU passport. So the, the, it, it's that moment of, 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 of the year where some start as mere Romo and grow until it becomes uh, a, a full a full deal at some point in time. Yeah, it's interesting yeah. what you say there, actually, because I think the the rumor that we spoke about the rumor earlier earlier on today on one of our live shows, and a lot of questions from Liverpool fans were, why would Matip leave Liverpool, the best team in England? Uh, they they certainly got a better pedigree in Europe in terms of winning the Champions League than Paris Saint-Germain. Why would he leave? Why would he think about leaving? And I suppose when you, when you get to the, the stage of your career where Jal Matip is, if you feel your injuries are going to worsen because of the intensity that Jurgen Klopp plays, uh, maybe you feel that you know it's going to lengthen your career uh, to move to Paris Saint-Germain as, as, as one example guaranteed guaranteed to win the league um i suppose as well uh, with with the emergence of joe gomez uh, partnering a lot with uh, virgil van dijk even if he's fit is it likely in your opinion that Matic will get less game time at anfield next season yeah there's a likelihood and then links with kali dukulibali from napoli uh, who is of the same age like Matip, uh, doesn't make it easy. We must also acknowledge the fact that Matip recently got married. And, uh, you know, marriage comes with lots of changes. I'm sure he's very, very happy at Anfield, but he recently got married. Paris, it will not be a bad city for new couples. Uh, uh, you, you also have to look at the fact that uh, there is a possibility of him getting a juicy contract at Paris Saint-Germain because the, 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 I think at this moment in time, Paris Saint-Germain needs a central defender like Matip than Liverpool. I know he's loved at Anfield, but looking at Liverpool's situation with Van Dijk and Joe playing nearly every weekend uh, and with the team being able to win the league with, with with, with less than 30% involvement of Joel in, in the process, it tells you that uh, the, 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 the club can, can do without the player. And the, the continuous talks about about Kali Dukuli Bali, the, the, the battle between Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain, and, and a few others, uh, plus Liverpool for Kali Dukuli Bali, uh, tells you that there is a possibility of another defender coming... Uh, into the Anfield, and I mean, it is a sensible deal for Liverpool. They picked this boy up uh, uh, for free from Shaka Nufia, and uh, he's served the club. They've won nearly everything with with the man Mati. Uh, if you have a, a, a deal to, to 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 let him move at twenty eight, I think it, 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 it's it's a deal that is yeah. is worth looking at, uh, especially at a time when. Uh, Liverpool has has given rumor about Liverpool uh, expressing interest in 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 in, in some in in in, 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 in Kylian Mbappe, uh, though he Kylian has insisted that he wants to stay at Paris Saint Germain for the next season. But I think th th this this interest in Kylian Mbappe could 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 uh, be, 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 be 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 helped by 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 by, by the rumor. Uh, linking linking Liverpool uh, to Joel because I think I think a swap deal between the two plus add-ons uh, from from the Liverpool end wouldn't be a, a bad idea. I understand the Liverpool fans their need to see Joel 
still at the club is 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 understandable. But uh, you know, they've been here before. They've been here before with Luis. They've been here before with Ryan Sterling. It's not a strange terrain uh, for yeah. for the Liverpool faithful. It's a club that is noted for having some great players that are scouted by by other clubs. It's not a strange terrain for Liverpool fans. One thing is sure: Liverpool is a great club. Players come and go, but this institution stays and remains great. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think it's interesting, the players you mentioned there, I wanted to, to, to pull. We know that your platform, um, kick442.com, covers multiple um, countries in, in the continent of Africa. Um, Koulibaly. Koulibaly is linked with all manner of moves. I know that you did, you did an article back at, at the beginning of near June talking about Koulibaly moving closer to Anfield. How likely is it, in your opinion, yeah. through what you've heard on your sources across across Africa, that Liverpool could sign Koulibaly this summer? Well, we fortunately for Kick Four Four Two, we we have a, we have a reporter in Naples. We have uh, Ambrosio in Naples who, 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 who tries to uh, to check out on everything that's fidgeting. In fact. Over four weeks ago, we did the story on the Victor Oshiman moving to Napoli as a near certainty. And Oshiman moved uh, in the later phase of last week. So uh, Ambrosio gave us that detail. And if you read, if you read the story on Kalidu Koulibaly, we did mention Ambrosio's uh, uh, involvement in 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 helping us get some of the details. I think one thing is sure. Uh, with the ex- expenses, uh, uh, Napoli uh, has incurred on bringing Victor Oshimen uh, to Naples. They are they are going, they, 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 they must cash in this summer to balance the books. And if you look at all the properties on their books, I think Kalidu is the is the hottest property and the most valued at this point point in time. When you look at his fitness history, I think letting go uh, Mati and bringing Kalidu of the same age uh, is not a bad deal for, 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 for Liverpool and for Mr. Klopp, especially because what can be raised from Matip. Uh, mind you, we didn't state, we didn't state uh, uh, a, a market value in, 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 in Matip's possible move to Ante because a uh, possible move to the Park de Prince because Matip, Signed a new deal last October yeah. at Anfield, and uh, it's 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 possible that the, the market value. That's this is the reason we didn't state the market value. It's possible that the release value could be massively dependent on Liverpool and their willingness to sell the player. So uh, we 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 think that it is possible uh, to to have Kalidu leave Naples this summer. And amongst possible destinations, we uh, we wouldn't be surprised to see him at Anfield. You must also remark that uh, Paris Saint-Germain have been linked with Kalidu this summer, but the player has expressed his own willingness to move to that direction, despite having lots of investment in Paris, despite having families in Paris. uh, He's He's, he's, it's been reported on multiple Senegalese uh, media reports that he is more interested in in feeling uh, the, the, the 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 flair of 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 the Premier League and talk about Premier League. It is Liverpool and and, and Manchester City head on for this guy. Yeah, and, and I did read that Liverpool may command a fee of around fifty million pounds for Matip. And if we look at the valuation of Ben Chilwell, Jack Grealish in the Premier League, I, I could understand exactly what Maguire at 80 million, you could understand Liverpool demanding such a high fee for Matip. If they get 50 million pounds from Matip, of course we know money is no object to Paris Saint Germain, that goes a long way to funding the signing of Koulibaly, doesn't it? It does, it does, and I made mention of that in my earlier submission. You get fifty million uh, for a guy you got for free. He's given all his, I mean, he's given everything for the club. Uh, it, it it provides funds uh, to, to 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 finance multiple transfers. And like I said earlier, Liverpool has been here before. We know what they did uh, with with the Coutinho deal. We, we know how much. How important Phil Coutinho's deal uh, to Barcelona, uh, I mean, has been 
it, it, it was and has been till date to, 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 to Liverpool. So it's not a strange terrain. It's not a strange terrain. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, no doubt. They need a defender, and it's not a club uh, that 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 that's noted for going for going into the market to get very young players uh, and and give them time to grow. It's a club that wants ready-made product, and talk about ready-made product. Well, one of the best ready-made products these days in Europe. If you can keep him fit, is well. Uh, he's uh, he, he's a Cameroonian, and uh, just check the records. Oh, I mean, check the number of Cameroonians that have been at Paris Saint-Germain. Check the number of Cameroonians uh, that have played for that club. As we speak, there are two of them even in the first team. Uh, there is Tupu and there is Loic in the in the first team. Uh, and that tells you that uh, it's, 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 not, it's not a club uh, that, that, that doesn't know how to do, do a deal to get Cameroonians on board. So uh, it, it's this, the same can be said about Liverpool, no doubt, with Rigo Song having been there, with Charles Etanji, with mm. David Gok having been there. But I, I think that it wouldn't be a bad deal for Liverpool. Uh, I mean, if they find a suitor, be it Paris Saint-Germain or another, who pays £50 million for Joel at this time. It could be a massive bit of business for Liverpool in and out, could improve their defence and, and, and make them even stronger. And of course, improving uh, Paris Saint-Germain at the same time. Um, I wanted to also pull on another player um, uh, that's, that's linked with a big money move. To, well, I say big money move. Arsenal seem to be dragging their heels a little bit. Thomas Partey to Arsenal. Is that something you think is going to happen? Or do you, do you feel that Arsenal are being too cheap to get the deal done? Well, when Mikel won the FA Cup over the weekend, uh, he said in, in one of uh, his comments post-match that this is an opportunity for more money into the club. That, that speaks volume. It speaks volume. It tells the story about the spending attitude of the club because a club like Arsenal shouldn't, should, I mean, uh, shouldn't depend on FA Cup. Yes, lots of money come from winning the FA Cup, but they should have everything planned and settled with or without the FA Cup about possible expense, uh, expenditure, uh, possible expenses for the summer. We've had reports about what the Manchester City group have made available for Pep Guardiola this summer. We've had reports for, for multiple clubs, but we've not had those details uh, for, for Arsenal. And I, I would say something, and it surprises you. I'm particularly very, very surprised that Manchester City is not uh, the most talked about club in this party deal. Uh, I, I see him as, a, as a, a better fit for Manchester City at this moment in time because, uh, yes, there's been rumour about the departure of Matteo Genduzzi, but I think Genduzzi can do the job uh, in the midfield for Arsenal. Uh, Fernandinho has not played in his position all season at, at the Etihad Stadium. He's not played in his position all, all season. On, have a greater need for a holding midfielder in, 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 with, with the quality of Thomas' uh, party uh, than, than Arsenal. I'm surprised that Arsenal have their eyes on a guy like that and they're taking so much time to do the deal. Well, we, we have our colleague in Ghana, John Kwesi, who did a story uh, a few months back and said Patty's father had testified that Patty was Emirates-bound. Since then, lots of uh, what has gone under the bridge, we've not had Arsenal make a, 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 a serious statement about signing uh, about signing Thomas Party. And when you look at Arsenal's history in the transfer market, when it deal drags and drags and drags, they don't have the they don't have the leave, the Barcelona attitude uh, with Javier Mascherano. They don't have the Manchester City attitude uh, with Ryan Sterling. They don't have the, the, the Real Madrid attitude with Luka Modric, where the player uh, at some point in time is is, uh, is expected to go on strike to move to the club, and the club is, is going to assist the player to make the deal happen. They don't have that attitude. They have targeted a good number of players, and it's not come through. So uh, at this juncture, I would be surprised, though Pate's father had acknowledged that he could move to, to, to the, to the uh, Emirates, though the player has openly expressed his desire to play in the Premier League, I will tell you that I would be surprised if Pate 
finally moves to the Emirates because the club hasn't shown interest enough to get the guy on board. We're talking Premier League in 2020. These days, when you seriously need a player, it, it, it's not a discussion for three months. Yeah, listen, I agree. Arsenal did this with Tom, with um, Thomas Lamar. Um, they dragged their heels, they dragged their heels, they dragged their heels. And when they eventually submitted the bid, which uh, Monaco accepted, it was it was was turned down by Lamar. Lamar said, look, it's too late in the day. I'm about to go and play an international game for France. Uh, the season's already begun. I'm going to stay where I am for now. And that hasn't ended up working out well for either party. If we're looking at this, it's, I find it staggering. As you say, Arsenal, they're, they're not Man City. They're, they're not Man United. They're not Chelsea. They're not Liverpool. They're not, they're not one of the big players anymore. The fact they're dragging their heels in this way, I find it, I find it very, very strange indeed. I really, really do. Um, just finally, before we wrap up, are there any other rumours, any other stories uh, that you think are going to make big waves in the Premier League in terms of players sort of from the African continent that, that could come and play here? Well, the, the last few days I've had... Uh... Uh, some reports in Cameroon about Jean-Pierre Same. I think this should be a very strange name in your ears. Uh, but if you're following uh, the Swiss top flight championship, Jean-Pierre Same would not be a, a strange name. Cameroonian, 27, formerly of SEO Angers. He's working one that's in the Swiss top flight. Uh, he's closed his season in the league this evening uh, with the brace and it took his uh, season tally to 38 goals uh, in 43 games. Uh, in the league, he scored uh, 32 game, uh, goals in 31 games, three hat tricks this season. Uh, he's, he's, he's been linked, uh, there have been reports on kick 4-4 to uh, linking him uh, with multiple Premier League clubs, including West Ham United, uh, Everton, Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know how much, I don't know how 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 much uh, interest can come from all those parties. But I'm certain in the January window, I did re I did receive an inquiry from someone related to West Ham United, uh, finding out about possible conditions uh, to, to, to propose Jean-Pierre Samet uh, to West Ham United. Uh, it, it didn't finally come off. Uh, there were two players at that time. There was Jean-Pierre Samet and Pierre Koundé Malong of, uh, of Mines. None of those uh, came through. In fact, Same didn't reply on, on time. He works with a French agent that took so much time to reply. The same thing uh, happened with Pierre Koundé Malong, who works with the Spanish agent. He too, took too much time uh, to reply, uh, I, I mean, to give the details uh, for it to be forwarded to West Ham United. But Jean-Pierre Same, Jean-Pierre Same, I think he is one guy that could make rounds this summer and not just in the Premier League, in, in, in multiple uh, leagues around Europe, given how much he's done this. Season. I just said he scored 32 goals in 31 games for young boys being wow. uh, accounting for over 40% of the club's goals this season. Three hard tricks. Uh, he scored uh, 38 goals uh, in, in all competitions this campaign. He smashed Samuel Etoufis uh, 11 year old record as the highest scoring Cameroonian in, 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 in a top championship, in, in a top flight competition uh, championship in, in Europe. Wow. It hosted a record of 30 uh, in the 2008 2009 Sebo winning season at Barcelona. Sam has scored 32 in the championship this season. He smashed Seydou Dumbia's record as the top scoring player in, his, in, in the league season uh, for young boys being. Uh, Seydou Dumbia 10 years ago scored 30 for, for young boys being. Uh, he, he's done uh, so with two goals uh, better. I think he, he's, he's, he's one of those guys that um, will certainly be uh, on, 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 on the media this summer. Yeah. And uh, some may think he's a one-season wonder. He's no such. 
He is no such. He scored goals everywhere he's been at Angers, at Servet in the second tier in Switzerland. In fact, he won the top scorer award in uh, in, in his days at Servet that earned him the move uh, to Young Boys Bean. And in his time, he's in young uh, in the books of young boys or the books of young boys. He's he's metamorphosed. Uh, he's, he's, he's completely changed the club. Uh, it's, it's a complete metamorphosis. Uh, young boys, they've won uh, consecutive uh, titles in the last three seasons since he arrived to the club. Wow. Last season, he scored 15 goals uh, in the league. Uh, he, he, he reached uh, 20 uh, in all competitions last season. This season, he's, he's doubled his achievement of, of last season. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the subject of multiple uh, uh, transfer rumors this summer. Yes, he's still affiliated to the club till the summer of 2023. I'm sure that they may want to keep him uh, much longer. But let's wait and see what yeah. happens. Strikers are always uh, yes. in, in demand, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, look, I really appreciate you coming on the Football Terrace and um, giving us the breakdown on the Matip deal, Koulibaly to Liverpool. Uh, Thomas Partey, uh, and of course, this, and I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for uh, Jean Pierre and, and, and track and see what, as and when his name comes up. And we see Jean Pierre Samet. Yeah, Jean Pierre Samet. That's uh, spelled N S A M E. Is that right? Yeah, 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 you're right. Lovely. So, what I will do, yeah, if we see him with any links to the Premier League, I will reach straight out to you. I've got your direct line. Uh, I'd love to hear more about him. Sounds like a very exciting player. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on massively. We'll speak to you again soon. It's my pleasure. I hope uh, my submissions uh, did, uh, I mean, some. It did help in promoting the, the growth of the beautiful game at a time when Corona uh, doesn't make life easy for those who have chosen this discipline. Uh, we hope to have more in the days ahead. Those who want more of the conversation can catch me on Twitter at Leslie Angu or read more from kick442.com. Absolutely. I will put links in the description below. So everyone watching right now, go check out uh, this brilliant journalist right now on Twitter and uh, Kick442. We put the links in the descriptions for that. Um, and yes, absolutely brilliant stories, great information, credible, well articulated. I appreciate you so much coming on our platform. We'll speak to you again soon, sir. Take care. We are pushing from this end. Uh, in the next few days, we'll try as much as possible to get a reaction from Paris Saint-Germain about this massive situation. As soon as you do, let us know, and we'd love to get you straight on the air to talk about it as well. Thank you. All the best. Take care, my friend. Thank you. Bye-bye. We are in this together. <laughs> Top man. Thank you. Um, appreciate that so much there uh, from Angu Leslie coming on and speaking to us. I want your views and opinions. You've, you've heard it there from the horse's mouth. Matip to Paris Saint-Germain is genuine. It's a shock to me listening. I had no idea the Koulibaly situation was going to come up. Could this be one of the biggest transfers of the summer? Could Liverpool be luring us into a full sense of security that they're not going to spend anything? Could Matip go and the majority of them funds go towards funding the signing of Koulibaly? Arsenal, pull your fingers out when it comes to Thomas Partey. You are leading the race. You're probably still leading the race, but you, you're playing a risky, risky game indeed. But everyone who's tuned in, thank you. Hit the like button, share button, retweet button. And we'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.